Hey there, um, I just want to make a quick video showing off this uh, this clumping force, HDA, OTL, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, so I'll just show off the uh, the setup quickly. So we've got two spheres, you know, putting them in place, points, velocity, you get the gist. Um, so if we just disable the force, we can see pretty boring, just got a pop wind here, some, you know, whatever, some basic parameters. Um, yeah, so we'll just enable this to start. Yeah, and you can see right away we're getting some pretty cool shapes. Um, and it, it's running pretty fast, maybe not as fast as I'd like it to, but I think fast enough that I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, so you can see, you know, these are some some nice little tendrils that it's creating, and, and as these clumps break off into uh, smaller sections, they're sort of sticking to each other and clumping up, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's nice. Um, it takes a bit of fine tuning, you know. Obviously, you don't want some of these little particles can freak out a little bit, um, but that's all stuff that we can adjust in here. Um, so just walking through the, some of the basic parameters, so voxel, voxel size, um, this, you know, if you had a really large scale sim, you'd want to set higher. With this, it's pretty small, we're only a couple meters, so um, it's a pretty small sim. But um, it will also act as a multiplier on the scale of the, the tendrils and the, the sort of the foam pattern. So you can see it, uh, it doubled the, the resolution or half the resolution, we get these much thicker, sort of chunkier tendrils and patterns. Um, when you do adjust this, you will likely have to adjust some of these other parameters, um, you know, like these ones, as well as in here. Um, this section is still kind of work in progress. Um, so if you do adjust this, do not leave it empty because it will not run. Um, I'm just working on this, so it, it's a bit ugly right now. So if you want to disable it, just revert it to defaults, then disable, and it should uh, it should work fine. But this can allow for a few different parameter changes. You know, you can adjust some of the different ranges, um, and and we can see what these ranges are by visualizing these attributes. So I'm going to go back down to a nice workable size here, maybe something like this. Cool. Um, and we can just see our, you know, our different ranges on these attributes. Um, and then we can, you know, gauge these ramps based on those. The default works pretty well for the most part, um, but I'll show another example where we, we change things around a bit more. Cool. Uh, we can also visualize the curvature. So this might be a bit off as well. Sometimes we have to adjust it, but well, actually, there's a thing for that. We can adjust this. Here we go. Yeah, so we can just sort of visualize it that way. So here's the curvature. Um, it's a bit flickery, which is OK. It's um, sort of a weird thing to compute with particles, so unless somebody knows a better way. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is sort of a, this acts as a force. As a, sorry, as a multiplier on our on our main force. Um, also, it didn't run over this one. This is just a overall scalar, so um, it it's not super apparent, but it's there. So cool. Um, you know, if I set this to zero, you can see that uh, that nothing's happening. Cool. It's actually a bit hard to tell because we're still visualizing. Um, so we're still getting kind of some clumping and smoothness, and that's just because I have velocity smoothing turned on. So if we disabled that, it should just be like the default sim. But um, velocity smoothing is really nice to have. It, it, it's a little slow, but not that slow. So um, it shouldn't really cost you much to run, and it really helps with the foam patterns. Cool. Just going to revert that back. Um, so we've also got these parameters up here, I'm going to revert all this stuff back to default. Cool. So um, this sort of, this is a 
a blur or a smooth operation over our gradient and the curvature field. So the, the gradient is the direction that we're trying to move the particles in. So you can see here, it, it almost looks like inverted normals. That's what it is. Um, so all these particles are trying to go inwards, basically. Um, so some of these get a bit crazy on the uh, sort of more isolated points. You can see they, they flicker a little bit, so that's something that um, when, when you're creating the force, you want to mask those points out so they don't jitter, um, which you can just do using this. Um, so I don't have a visualizer for that, but you can just visual, visualize the attribute. Um, but we can blur this however we need to. I think, like honestly, it's maybe not even necessary. We could just do one or something. It, it's, I'll, I'll do a little checkbox here so we can toggle them too. Um, and then same with the curvature. That one we can visualize a bit easier. Wherever, sort of just smoothing it out. Um, I would recommend at least doing a couple iterations on this because it, it does get pretty crazy if you don't. We can take a look at that here. Um, it's just, it's so hard to read the curvature of these, these really, you know, fine lines, but it, it does work. So, you know, you, c you can do it. It's just, it might be a little, a little bit wacky, but honestly it looks okay. So, um, not too big of a deal, but yeah, again, so you can see these points in here are getting a bit, they're going a little crazy. So be careful with that. Um, so cool. That's basically it. I will show off another example. So that was our first one. Um, and here's our second one. So I'll just play two videos here. So this one's with the force. This is without. So this is just no force at all. It's just carrying the velocity of the flips in. Um, and then this one's carrying the velocity as well as the, the foam force. Um, so it's obviously just up to preference. Both look good, um, but this one offers more control. It is a bit slower though, of course. So let's go in and check that out. Um, so it's just a simple flip sim, right? Nothing really crazy. Cached out surface and velocity. And then I just, as the source, because I don't like the default whitewater stuff, I just did this quick, like, masked out vorticity and, and velocity. And, just blasted those points out. It just needed something really quick. So it's a bit flickery and it doesn't look the best and just replicated it out. Cool. And let me restart that so we're not simming. Um, so this is just the, this is just runs over the surface and velocity and, and you know, calculates the buoyancy and, and the point velocity, right? I'm not gonna cover this because there's plenty of videos online for that, but that's sort of what drives the whitewater sim as opposed to the previous example, which was just a like floating popsin. Um, and here's the, the clumping. So obviously some, you know, some parameters were changed. Um, and then I'm just killing what's outside the bounds. Cool. Uh, so you can see it runs pretty quickly. Like I'm, I'm, I'm happy enough with that. Um, I'm going to keep looking at how I can speed this up and, and optimize it. Uh, but for now, I think it's it's a reasonable amount for how many points I think we're, we're running at. How many points is this? Yeah, like two million points. So that's that's pretty good. Like I'm 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 happy with that. Um, yeah. So adjusted some of the parameters here. I fit. I think instead of it being between zero and two. Yeah, so it's just between zero and ten. Simple enough. Um, some extra velocity smoothing, and then just messed with the curvature range, and the voxel size too. So, obviously, this is quite a much, quite, uh, quite a bit larger of a scale sim. So, we increase the voxel size, and uh, and that was it. That's all it took. So, it's super easy to adjust. All you do is you run through the sim, check out your your visualizers, adjust like oh maybe I want to show more or less of this, you know whatever you feel like doing. You can see voxels here, um, which is, you know, less than ideal. But um, this is all just a zero anyway, so it, it's not that big of a deal. And I guess just to make it run quicker, that was what I went with. Um, and yeah, so you just 
take out your values, adjust based on that. And, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty simple. So um, hopefully this was a uh, simple enough little demo here to show it off. Uh, I think it's, you know, it, it's pretty simple. If, if people want more features, they can ask, but I, I like to keep it relatively bare bones. Um, and maybe I'll do my own version of this um, node, but that'll be for another day. So yeah, cool. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'll be um, including, I don't know if I'm gonna do a gum road yet or something, but I'll, I'll post it in some Discord servers for free for a couple days, I think at least, and then decide what to do after that. So cool. Uh, thanks for watching.